All right, here we are. I've got my laptop here, and I uh, I don't have internet in the basement, so I'll have to I'll have to link to the files that I downloaded. But I've already got I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but I've got the default package and the firmware downloaded. I'm gonna extract each of those. All right, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the firmware. I'm gonna rename it to just fw.dat, and I'm gonna move it into the default package. Actually, I'm gonna move it one further. There. So now it's it's right there. Next, we need to change a couple things in this config file right here. We need to change our LED strip to 82, because that's how many pixels are in our strip. We need to make sure that strip power is at 1111, which it is. And I like to turn the volume down a little bit. It's at 100% right now. I'm going to put it at 20%. And that's for menu volume, for volume, and beep is another volume but I'm going to keep that at 40 because I want those to be nice and jarring. That's for errors when they show up. So I want, a, I want an error to be nice and clear. So, so I think that's all I have to change. Uh, oh, I'm also going to change log port to 2. That's going to let the, the Sabre communicate with the rice port rather than with the USB port on the board. I think that's it. We only have the one profile, all these other profiles are blank right now. So we're going to close this and save it. And then I also want to take a look at the preferences file to see what it's going to open up to. Alright, so it's going to start at bank 0, which is right here, which is color profile, color and profile 0. Perfect. And color 0 looks like it's all red because these channels are RGB and then we don't have a fourth channel so so the looks like it should if we boot it up it should boot up red and it should boot up into this nightfall font so we're gonna take our SD card so we're gonna insert it into the computer I think this is it. Yeah, this is the one. Ah, can't remember how I, where it was. All right, anyway, I need to go to this PC. This is the four gigabyte card, and I need to format it. I'm gonna format it in FAT. Yeah, I know, format complete. Cool. And then we can take our default package and we want to just copy everything in in one go. Mm -hmm. Takes a little while. It's all copied over, so we can take it out. 
I can get it out of here. There we go. <clears throat> and we want to put it in our saber, which I've got right here. And it goes in this little card spot right here. Okay. Now to perform the firmware update, we need to go into bootloader mode. To do that, you hold down both buttons while supplying power to the board. So you remove this, and this will start blinking. When it stops blinking, you can let go of the buttons, and then it blinks really rapidly. And then you push the main button, it'll blink, and then it'll boot up if everything goes well. It looks like it did, so we should be able to push this button and have it light up. Look at that. Look at that. So this isn't a smooth swing font. I have to actually swing it hard to get a smooth, to get a swing on. But let's get it onto a smooth swing font. Uh, Hoth is. Cell energy critical. <laughs> so cell energy critical, that just means the battery's really low. Look at that. So I might have to turn the volume up a little bit, but... <sighs> yeah, there we go. We made a lightsaber. Yeah. I'll have one more episode that'll be how to configure the saber through rice. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit for that.